Hi, in this session I am going to show you how to execute the uh, report what we created. So if you go to FDI 0, to execute the report in the account receivable you have to go to FDI 0. Then you can see the report you created here for the balance report. Click on execute. So here actually uh, I added two variables one is a uh, from another one is a uh, to so to make is uh, so you can enter of uh, two is a uh, call and from is one so how I add it uh, I will show you here form so go to the FDI 5 and double click on this now you go to the edit general data selections if you see I added here the from is here which is a local variable I created to is here which is a also a local variable so if you see here <coughs> I don't choose from here so I just create period from as my local variable press enter the same thing I did for period two also so it means I didn't choose the global variable which is available so click enter so this local variable created by the report created under the report for our execute so it will show while executing the report so now if you go to the FDI FDI 0 so click execute and don't give any uh, intervals for the customer so let us execute for all the customers so I give from period as 1 and 2 period as top so now I use a classic drill down report click execute So now, in this report, it will show the values like this, which is a key figure. Here you see balance carry forward, total debit, total credit period balance, accumulated balance, and also accumulated check. It's This is a formula we use to check whether our, our report generated the correct figures or not. So here, you have a navigation, which is a company code, customer, physical year, all this here so for example you want to see in under the rows the customer and this you want to see in the columns so this is what the report is having a more meaningful format so here if you see this one uh, it looks for you maybe funny but you can still change this if you click on the customer here the customer will appear here so the values here it will show for an individual customer so you can click on down arrow to see the individual customers but you want to have a balances and this report for all the customers in one report so what you can do is you select the customer you see the color is changed when you click here the color will be changed you see again the color is changing so the color is changing here for only the two areas one is under for the customer another one is this hill and the overview button so this we call overview icon and this is like a hill and the sun and if you click again it will be normal display so now click on the customer and click on the overview so now you can see the report showing the values so now you want to check whether the balance is showing by the system is correct or not so how to check this one you can do fbl 5n so i go to fbl 5n let's take some time 
and here I want to analyze for this customer so here 3277 and I am executed this report for the open items for the physical year 2010 from period 1 to period 12 so I want to analyze all the open items until the date and I have my own layout a variant layout so I selected a company code and customer and now execute after you execute you can see the value here so now I want to summarize by the physical year because I executed the report for 2010 so the before this values for 2010 this will be your opening balance so this will be your period balance whether this is a December and August it is showing mm -hmm. and now you can see total period balance is a debit balance which is 19649.19 and here you can see so this is your opening balance if you see 25770 you can see you can compare the values here so this one 25770 and for this one 19649.19 19649.19 and here you can see this is accumulated balance which is the total here so this is accumulated balance so now you don't want to go a bl5 and and you want to drill down from here directly yes that is possible you just select the cell and then go to extras and click on line items so system will take you to the same FBL 5 and report so you can see the values will be same as this report so you can see here the system is showing the same values what you are seeing in the FBL 5 so the same way same way you want to analyze for the this one which is the debit total so now get stars line item then the system will show the values like this so the total values here you can see 19649.19 so actually you may be you can see the real status of these open items in this report you see here this was cleared on March 2011 but this will be considered as an open item this is a good example actually so this will be still open item as of 2010 but it, you may be check why it is showing still uh, in the green so it means it, this is cleared in the March 2011 so it means it's open item until 31st sorry it is open item until 28 February 2011 so since you are executing this report for 2010 December yes the status of this open it uh, the cleared item is open actually so that's the reason this value consists of the cleared item also so now you want to check the total so now you just select the total extras align items now the system is showing all the values which is consist of total figure for the report so this is how you can execute the report